Hello everyone, and I am your host Melee Wizard, and welcome to Let's Play Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle, a puzzle game for the NES. Uh, I, I had always been kind of hesitant to do puzzle games because I feared that the entertainment value wasn't there, but I, I'm trying it, and if it works, well, I have other ideas beyond this if it, if it goes well. So basically, the general plot of this game is that the various baddies, if that's what you want to call them, as a kidnap uh, Bugs is a honey bunny, and we're off to uh, to rescue her. Basically, with each level, you have to uh, collect every carrot in the level, and once you collect all the carrots, you'll get a one-up. And you have to avoid the various bad guys. In this case, we've got a green Sylvester, and there's a uh, gray Sylvester over here. And there's a couple different ways to go about them. You can either push objects into them, which will give you a thousand points, or you can grab that uh, punching glove there and and uh, just throw it at him to kill him for 500 points. And there is also a uh, invis invincibility potion where you can kill him real quick for, but you only get 100 points for that. And I didn't really, I didn't know this until I looked into it, but, and yep, there's the one up for completing the stage. And there is a uh, password system here as well. So I, I didn't know this until I looked into it recently, but uh, this, in the J Japanese version of this game, this is actually uh, centered around Roger Rabbit, which when you think about it actually makes a good bit of sense, Can s actually explains uh, Sylvester's color choices here, because the bad guys, the various bad guys in these games, uh, you've got the Sylvester's here, but in the Roger Rabbit version, they were um, the three weasels, uh, I think it was Greasy, Wheezy, and Smarty, or Smart Guy, whichever. And so they were all replaced by Sylvester. The other enemies in this game, uh, we've got uh, Yosemite Sam, aka Judge Doom. Uh, let's see, you had uh, Wile E. Coyote, uh, I think it was Bongo the Gorilla, and uh, Daffy Duck, aka the uh, Penguin Waiter. And I said there are three different versions of Sylvester here. The the gray ones, they just walk around at, ran at semi-random, and they can go up doors. The uh, green ones, they're, they tend to be a bit more homey, and they can actually go up and down doors, and they're the only ones that can do that. The pink ones, I'll, well, I'll explain those when they show up. And basically, uh, Yosemite Sam and Wile E. Coyote, they, they uh, can't go up these uh, metal stairs, and they cannot go up and down doors, but that doesn't mean they aren't a threat. And uh, the, you see the various items here, like your crates, your buckets and such. The uh, Okay, let's see if I can time this. Ooh, nice! <laughs> um, basically, the heavier they are, the farther they go when you push them. It goes from the... Uh, the buckets are the lightest, they go quite a ways. It goes all the way up to the 10-ton ten, uh, ten weight, that only go moves one space, and frankly, that's kind of convenient to me. And I think I've kind of stalled out on what to say here. <laughs> um, one thing that uh, one thing that I like about this game, and this is another one of those games from my childhood. Uh, oh boy! Let's see, was there is there a carrot over there? I don't remember. And I'm nervous about this guy over here. Yes, there was a carrot. Okay. And the the punching glove is only good for one use, so make make the most of it. Uh, and like I said, this is a game from my childhood, and if nothing else, I love the music in this game. This is probably among the mo favorite music that I have, and there's three different like s uh, stage motifs. We've only been seeing this brick and mortar stuff so far, but. I think around level 7 we start seeing something different. So we've got the green ones, and I think this one has the debut of Yosemite Sam. There he is. And go ahead and take you out. Try to coax Sam over to the, over the ledge here so I can at least try and get the safe on him. Or not. Uh, and 
Those, those, these green ones, they tend to be very troublesome. Uh, let's see if I can get at least one of them. Come on. Ah, uh, uh, well. At least with Sylvester over there, he's out of the way. So I think I am in the clear now. And as you see, uh, Yosemite Sam and Wiley Coyote, who we haven't seen yet, do, cannot go indoors. But like I said, that doesn't make them any less of a threat. Whew, and there are uh, 60 levels in this game, and I'm I'm thinking I might uh, limit myself to like 15 minutes of playtime here, just to so I'm not. You know, then I guess however many levels I go through, and ah, there's the Pink Sylvester's. Um, the Pink Sylvester's, and oh, there's Daffy too, because you see they've completely stopped. They they move basically when you move, and in the same direction that you move in. Uh, unless there's a wall in the way, of course. And, of course, the Pink Sylvester's can go outdoors while Daffy cannot. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Get rid of you that way. And let's see if I can't get the safe dropped on you. And... Sh no, I don't... I think it'll... Oh, okay. Yeah, it will work. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you have to be careful around those guys. Of course, I I would say you need to be careful around never all of them, but no well. Uh, I'll go ahead and invisible my way into the carrot. Okay. <laughs> Okay, stage seven. I think this adds a new motif. Ah, yes, the heavy metal. <laughs> or in in this one, instead of doors, you get the uh, the pipes here, which pretty much act the same way, except that the pipes can go all sorts of different directions. And as as the game progresses, you'll see these pipe configurations get more and more intricate. And uh, I might as well take one of you out at least. I know there's a green one over there and in these pipe levels those green ones just tend to go back and forth forever. Which can be somewhat troubling and okay okay Gray let's see if I can't maneuver my way around you okay. <laughs> yeah basically uh, one touch kills you but considering we have got a password system and going completing a stage gives you an extra life and you can uh, go back to previous stages yeah getting a game over shouldn't be an issue at all okay so another another metal stage and there's gonna be Wiley coyote over here Ooh, that was that was way too close um, how do I want to go about this? Okay, well, at least I can get that one while he's going back and forth on that. Uh, was there any others in here? Was there a Grey Sylvester? Yes, there was. Question is... How do I want to go about this? So, is the, gray, is the green one still going back and forth on that thing? Yes, and I don't think he's going to come over here just to... Oh yes, he will. Very good. Uh, mm, I don't think that will. F yeah, the time limit is way too short on that. I don't think I could have done any good with that. So now I just have to get past the gr the gray one and let's see. Did you go over the ledge? Yes, you did. Yeah, and there was still another one, but thankfully I had the the boxing glove, so I didn't suffer instant death. Now I just have to get these other ones and move on. So does stage nine bring up the third motif? I forget. Ah, yes. 
So we had the brick, the metal, and now we got the stone, as far as I'm concerned. And frankly, I think this one's my favorite music out of the three. <laughs> it's just, you get very, very peppy. <laughs> yep, get rid of the green one, since that one's more troublesome. And I, all I have to do is get Daffy down here, and he'll be out of my hair, since he can't go upstairs. Okay, but the thing is, now there's going to be two Sylvesters in that confined space. That is going to be a problem. Okay, and I've got one crate here that I can use. Except that that was the last carrot. Never mind. All right. Okay, stage ten. This is where my memory of things starts to get foggy. Um, and you can use the uh, up and down arrows just when walking, and that will just, uh, oh, hello Sam, and it'll just move you forward in whatever direction you're facing at the time. Oh, uh, dear. Um, and you're gonna go there. Frankly, I think I should, uh, this boxing glove should be better spent on Sam here. Oop. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, with apparently there is a method to manipulating what direction they go in, but heck if I know what it is. And goodness knows I have played a couple of hacks of this game that added extra levels, and there was one stage that basically required you to manipulate enemy an enemy. And I don't know how I managed to do it. Uh, um is yeah, those guys are just going to stay over there forever, aren't they? Lovely. And it sucks that there's the boxing glove there, but there's also the last carrot, I believe, so... Come on, go over the le edge, please. Oh, crap. Uh... <laughs> taking, a r taking a risk there. Uh. You know what? I'm... Okay, didn't mean to do that, but... Oh, oh dear. Oh, well, crap. Come on. Ah, oh, jeez, really. Yep. Go ahead and take you out, and grab that last carrot after taking unnecessary risks. Alright, what's next? Uh huh. Uh, is, is there a cow? Is there. Oh, there's Sam here. Oh dear. Uh, at least I got all the carrots here. Uh huh, boxing glove. Very good. Very good thing to have. Nothing else? I'll might use, might use it to take out the green. Uh, where is the green? There you are. Actually, it might be better spent using it on the gray crap. Ah, darn it. And that's what happens when you die. <laughs> Hopefully that shouldn't be happening too many times, but given in the later levels, who's to say? Um, so, hence Sam is still over there. And actually, I think I'm gonna see if I can't get the bucket on him just to take him out. Okay. Oh dear, this is this is very risky here. Come on, move over here so I can destroy you. You know what? Screw it. I'm taking a... It's a shame that I had to waste the boxing glove on him, but... What a, what a, what else could I do? Um, okay, green, where are you? Okay, yeah. Just come down here so you're out of my way. Okay. Huh. There, 
there, and <laughs> um, yeah, that was too close for comfort. And okay, Whew. yeah, that one was a little difficult. And I think that's a good spot to stop for now. So join me next time where we move on to stage 12. Until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.